Daily Herb. No, Dracula Face was not our Daily Herb for today. Dracula Face was our Daily Herb a few days ago. He just remains a herb. But what is a herb? You may want to know. Well, it's scrolling across the bottom of the screen to be whack, worthy of being mocked, weak, chumpish, and generally to be avoided. <clears throat> that generally to be avoided is one that I lean on very hard because herbs are not somebody you want to be around. <clears throat> so let's get into our daily herb for today. This is Mr. Ryan Coogler. Ryan Coogler is the director of Black Panther 2 filming down in Atlanta area. And Mr. Coogler <coughs> decided that he wanted to go to the bank and make a withdrawal. So Mr. Coogler went into the bank. This happened months ago. So y'all just are now finding out about it because the uh, video came out. You can find the video. They show video of him in the bank. All of this happening. So it happened months ago. So obviously mask mandates and stuff like that were still in place. So Mr. Coogler goes into the bank, has on his mask, you know, has on hat, things like that. And he, uh, oh, apparently he had two friends that were outside in the car, you know, waiting for him. But he goes into the bank. And again, he's the director of Black Panther 2. So he has access to some money. Obviously, this is a Disney project. Disney has money, you know, Marvel, Disney, all that. You don't get to be director of that and be remain broke. So he goes into the bank and he hands the teller a, a, a withdrawal slip. And on it, the back of the slip. Hold on. I'm sorry. I, I moved my screen. I'm trying to pull up the article on the back of the slip. It said, uh, all right, hold on. All right, I'll have it. On the back of the slip, it says something to the effect of, hey, there it is right there. I'm sorry, I clipped it. That's what it is. I'll make sure I hit that like button coming in. Appreciate it. Says so Coogler was detained and handcuffed after he went to Bank of America to make a transaction on January 7th. According to the Atlanta police report, the 35 year old director, who was wearing a hat, sunglasses, and COVID face mask, went to the counter, handed the bank teller a withdrawal slip with a note written on the back that reportedly read, quote, I would like to draw $12,000 cash from my checking account. Please do the money count somewhere else. I'd like to be discreet. seems pretty reasonable right you know but the bank teller thought that he was trying to rob the place so the bank teller went and talked to another like you know higher manager or whatever in there and they went and talked to somebody else and they called the cops and the cops came and put him in handcuffs and actually detained his two friends outside in the car because they were sitting out there in the car running. So they thought they were getaway drivers and they thought he was there to rob the bank. <laughs> so I had to tell her a note that said, I would like to withdraw 12,000 cash from my checking account. And this is on a withdrawal slip. So it may have actually had the account information on the other side for all I know if she turned it over. But he just said, please do the money count somewhere else. I'd like to be discreet because when you're in Atlanta in a bank, you don't want the teller to come out with 12 bands of money and just hand the shit to you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want her to just hand you $12,000 over the counter or count that out right there. So you want to do that, you know, in a back room or in a vault or something like that. But I don't know whether she was new, not trained well. I don't know whether they was had been robbed very recently. So they was on edge. I don't know. But I spoke to someone who I know has experience as a bank teller. This person also has experience receiving 
a robbery letter from an actual robber as a bank teller. And when I described this situation to the person, they seemed a little, you know, perplexed that it ended up that way because it just doesn't seem like it should have gone to all of that. You know, so I don't know where the the you know the failure in communication was for the bank teller or whoever for multiple people to look at this thing and decide that instead of either having more conversation with him you know to get more details or whatever because i mean from the video he didn't look to be threatening in any way the way that i could see the kind of interaction going down you know he obviously didn't you know pull out any kind of weapon he didn't have any weapon on him and he didn't seem to be making any kind of threatening gestures, emotions or anything. So I don't know where she got the conception that he was trying to rob her just based on that note, you know, but they obviously didn't do enough research. So cops came, put him in handcuffs. You know, they did some talking, figured out from the friends in the car. They get, like told the cops what his identity was, how he was dressed, all that stuff. And they kind of eventually put two and two together and ended up letting them all go. You know, nobody got arrested really or anything like that. But, um, you know, what ended up happening more than likely, this is Bank of America, of course, it says in there. So what happened is Disney and Bank of America probably swooped in because, again, this was months ago. Disney and Bank of America swooped in together. It's like, all right, what can we do to make this go away? This is the guy. He is he is legit. He got the money, all that. We need to make this go away. So they came to some whatever agreement it was. We'll probably never know the details of that. I'm sure during that agreement or settlement or whatever, he probably had to sign something. So his statement in reference to all this is just a very generic statement. It looks like his lawyer prepared and just says that, you know, everything was worked out and were good basically <clears throat> that's how it went down so one of those just lawyer prepared statements in a sense that it's like you know this is all i can say about it we worked it out we came to our settlement they probably you know slipped me some dollars or whatever in my account and i'm good with it they good with it i ain't go to jail ain't nobody get hurt we don't need to talk about it no more that's kind of where they wanted to happen because disney don't want all this scandal surrounding their black panther movie obviously Bank of America don't want this scandal surrounding the way they do business because it looks like they're just profiling a black man who actually does have the money, you know, so they just wanted to make it go away discreet like he wanted to be. So with that being said, Daily Herbert today, March 10th, 2022, Bank of America, obviously y'all some herbs y'all are generally to be avoided. Y'all are whack and worth of worthy of being mocked. Pretty weak and chumpish, but definitely generally to be avoided. So I ain't the smartest man in the world, but if you want to avoid Bank of America, the best way to do that is to pull your money out of Bank of America. Why don't we uh, look into making some banks of our own, some of our own community banks, pool our money together and we be the bank. So whenever we need to borrow, we borrow against our own pool of money. We create the borrowing power and just compound our own money rather than letting Bank of America hold our money and then use our money as the collateral to, you know, grant borrowing to someone else. They're using our money, making interest off our money. Why can't we pool our money together and be the lenders to make interest off of our own money, lend to ourselves from our own pool? make the interest on ourselves, pay our own interest. If we all come together and do that, we don't have to deal with this types of tactics that they do on us from Bank of America. We just have our own money. We'll keep it in our community. We'll spend it in our community. We'll bank it in our community. We'll make interest on it in our community. We'll pay the interest on it in our community. It'll all just stay in our community. We just got to pool our resources together. All right, we got a little bit more. I told y'all uh, 